Hello and welcome to episode 8 of How to Beat Digital Distraction and Write More. My name is Andy Tatsall and I'm an Information Specialist at the School of Health and Related Research at the University of Sheffield. In this short series of podcasts, I'm going to help you try and be more productive with your writing and get things done. So in this episode, I'm going to explore the importance of filters and intrusion blockers. Uh, firstly, one great thing you can do to prevent me by being distracted is to turn off your non-essential um, notifications. And this is especially the case with your phone, as they can be our biggest problem. So if you use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and email and you've got your notifications turned on, then there's a good chance your phone is chirping away every few minutes. If you truly want to get things done, then this is not sustainable. So every time you're interrupted by a tweet or a Facebook update, you lose concentration on the task you're trying to complete. Uh, and this is despite the fact that each little ping is going to give our brain a hit of dopamine, which means we potentially create this cumulative effect um, and it may f give us a little thrill from uh, from these little pings and, and excitement that we get a notification but it also can induce the anxiety of knowing that it's distracting us from our task and we're not going to get that task finished on time and it starts to sink in so try and check your devices periodically rather than let them dictate when they interrupt you so it's about taking back that control of your technology and experience will tell you that out of those thousands of emails and social media updates we get every month we really see something truly urgent that needs attending to we can also apply filters um, to our ears as we carry out work so lots of people listen to music and spoken word when they work and that can be really useful it can very much depend on your personality as to the kind of thing you want to listen to, but some things are better than others. Uh, Dr. V Victoria Williamson is a leading authority on the effect of music on humans, and Dr. Williamson's advice is that the type of music we listen to has an effect on our energy and our attention. So firstly, don't pick music you know well and enjoy singing to, or music with lyrics that can impair, impair your ability to focus. Picking something up tempo can help you work at a faster rate, but there's no evidence that one genre is worse than another. So there's no evidence that heavy metal or jazz have a negative effect on your writing ability. It very much comes down to personal taste. I would add a note of caution for spoken word material, such as listening to a comedy or sporting podcast, as you will find yourself competing to listen to what is being said and completing that, completing that writing task. So you might find yourself in this state, as I've mentioned before, of continuous partial attention. I found that a more simpler, more automated task, such as email, spoken word content is okay, because in effect it becomes white noise. Uh, I might be listening to a cricket commentary, but I wouldn't be able to tell you the score or who is currently batting. So. It, you have to kind of understand that if you're writing things, you may not be really hearing things at the same time. Music can be supported to um, uh, used to support your mood at the time of writing. So if you're feeling a bit anxious, and, and you, you might want to listen to something more relaxing and soothing. Uh, if you're in the need of energy, then you might listen to some up-tempo music to kind of invigorate you. And if you don't want to listen to music or spoken word, then there's plenty of ambient sound websites out there. You can listen to anything from a running stream to the sounds of a coffee house. Um, and one of the best sites is a site called Covivity, which is C-O-F-F-I-T-I-V-I-T-Y. So that's Covivity.com. And that's got a variety of background sides, uh, sounds that include a university campus cafe, there are plenty of apps for your smartphones that you can carry around that give an ambient soundtrack. And another option is to create something like a Spotify or an iTunes playlist and curate the music that helps you focus. You could actually create multiple um, playlists to reflect on your mood and your energy for the day. So up tempo for when you want to get lots of things done. Down tempo when you need to be more considered and more focused. Um, so my name is Andy Tatasaw and you can find more about me and these podcasts through the links on this site so thanks a lot for listening and uh, hope you have a very productive writing day